All right, well, good morning, everybody. Well, uh, figured I'd have to make an explanation on where I've been. No, I haven't been posting a lot here lately. I've uh, been busy. Well, not busy. I've been uh, stuck in the house. Uh, I have, y'all might have heard me mention in the surgery, I'm stuck in a boot or a cast for two weeks. So I've been stuck in the house for the past two weeks because of uh, surgery. And then now I'm in two weeks for this cast and I'm on crutches. And then uh, this coming Monday, today's Wednesday, uh, this coming Monday, I'm going to be putting a boot, which is going to be awesome because I can be able to get around. Uh, yeah, I just figured I'd explain to y'all on why I hadn't been posting and where I've been. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we started pruning uh, this past two, three weeks. Started pruning trees, and uh, they're about three quarters of the way done with the orchard on the first pass on the big cuts, and then uh, once the uh, help gets here, which will be March 11th, uh, they'll go through and uh, do the small cuts, and I'll try to get some videos of that when we're pushing brush out, and might get a little video of us pruning, uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'm sitting here on the, the uh, 30 or 2010 or 3000, the uh, Kawasaki 3000, and over there's the uh, 4010. Uh, well, uh, the uh, reason I'm not sitting on my four-wheeler is because I've been riding it today and I just got back and I blew a radiator hose, or I think I did, and I can't take it apart. Then, because I am going uh, hop along here. Um, the 3230 is still uh, on the, the Mac co or Mac, uh, Mater Mac planters. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name there. Went blank. The 3230, it's ready to go. We changed the hydraulic oil after it gotten cooked after the uh, hydraulic uh, cooler had gotten stopped up. Cooked the oil when uh, we was planting beans with it. Kubota L3940 is seriously needing a wax job, but I don't know if it'll get it because I hate waxing tractors. But uh, it needs that. To, and it needs to be washed. Uh, uh, next week, when I put me in the boot, I'm gonna get down here and uh, change the sickle bar teeth on the combine, which I will see, hopefully. Uh, I don't think we've got to do much else to the combine, because, to tell you the truth, we've replaced just about every bearing, but about 10 to 15 bearings all have been replaced on it, and uh, it's ready to go. Uh, the John Deere is sitting back there in the back uh, with the uh, air blast sprayer on it. Uh, that is the Duran Whalen 500 gallon sprayer that we have for peaches, it's peach sprayer. And we're gonna have to have it rebuilt. Uh, they can rebuild it for about 8,000 and the new one's about 25 to 30,000. So we're gonna have it rebuilt, the frame that is. And uh, we've rebuilt the pump and a couple other stuff when we first got it. We got it for a really good deal. So the frame's going to be rebuilt because that spray we use just eats the frame up. Uh, after, I mean, that sprayer's probably 10, 15 year old, as old as I am at least. So, uh, yeah. Uh, sprayer, high boy sprayer, is sitting back there outside. Well, y'all can't see through that expanded metal very good, but, uh, yeah, it's sitting right there. Here, let me turn around the other way. Uh, I'll tell you what, just let me back out and mule out, and, uh, y'all can, I'll show y'all what we gotta do. Okay, I got pulled out here. Uh, so anyways, uh, uh, y'all remember correctly. Come on, focus. Focus, you cotton picking phone. Well, hang on a second. You won't, ain't want to focus. Well, anyway, so that's the uh, the John Deere 6000 High Boy Sprayer. Uh, I remember I, I told y'all that uh, the uh, 
valves are leaking for the sprayers or for the booms that, to turn the booms on and off and uh uh, some of y'all suggested to put electric valves on. Well, we were going to, but we pulled them apart and turned out uh, all it was was the gasket and the, uh, the rubber o-rings in there, a few over, uh, rubber o-rings in there. So uh, we uh, rebuilt that. It wasn't but about $40, $50 and new valves, electric valves was going to be about $300. Uh, well, uh, uh, Dad's going to Washington next week. I have got to uh, make some mount for the GPS up there on the column. Uh, Y'all see a video on that, hopefully. I'll have to, I'm going to weld a plate on there and then we can bought a little mount for the GPS. It'll bolt on there. And uh, yes, and uh, we're taking the uh, phone markers off because they're just, they're just, they're outdated. Uh, you know, Back when they come out, they were the thing, but now they're, they, by the time we get back around to the end of the field, sometimes they're gone, and they're just, they're just not as good as GPS, and we already have the GPS, so we're going to put it on there, and uh, so, yeah, so it's, it's almost ready to go. I just got to take the phone markers off and put the GPS on, get it ready to go. Uh, we were, we fixed, uh, when we first bought it, the pump wouldn't engage, disengage. And we fixed that. Dad just had to put a new bolt in it where the other one had bent. We just didn't have time to fix it. Uh, we still hadn't got to put the seals in the final drives. Uh, it's just not going to happen this year. It'll happen next year, hopefully. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Too much stuff going on. Massey's sitting here with a box blade on there. Uh, got all the lights finally fixed, uh, fully wired and put on right. and. Yeah, uh, my dad hates that straight pipe, but I'll probably put it back on the muffler back on there. So, anyways, um, well, y'all uh, watched me for seven minutes ramble on about what we've got to do. So, hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Maybe, uh, hopefully. Oh, and another thing I've been thinking about while I've been sitting up so long. Uh, would y'all like to see more of the ve vegetable part of our operation? More, uh, I, I I could show it if y'all want to see it. I just I never have showed it much. It's just been the corn or the soybeans and uh, hay hay and stuff. Uh, and then this year will be peanuts. So I'm gonna try and start showing y'all a little bit more about what we do in the vegetable side of our business. Uh, there's a lot more to it than what soybeans are, so I'm going to try to start showing y'all more of what we do on, like, pruning and all that, picking and everything, so. Anyways, so, I've rambled on for eight minutes, so that's long enough, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.